All right, here is a live look outside as we get a check of your forecast, and that is the Crescent City Connection on a pleasant afternoon. Yeah, a lot of blue skies out there right now, and more could be on the way. Let's get a for check of the forecast with meteorologist Derek Sibley. Derek. Well, guys, it looks like we are going to be looking at this continuing throughout the rest of uh, this evening and also into tonight. We may see some increasing rain chances slightly for tomorrow, but I think better chances are on the way. However, as we head into this weekend and also next week. But first things first, right now we still got some air quality alerts here in effect for southeastern Louisiana, mainly for the north and south shore, also westward into the river parishes and even towards the Baton Rouge area as well. It's orange, which means that it's unhealthy for sensitive groups. And again, this goes until midnight tonight for portions of southeastern Louisiana. So just mainly poor here for today. Heading into tomorrow, it drops to fair, but keep in mind it's mainly going to be on the moderate side of things here for some of us. So just bear that in mind for those of you that still fall under that sensitive group category. As far as the drought monitor goes, I'm showing you this here because, you know, we haven't really seen a whole lot of rain here in southeastern Louisiana so far for the month of August. Again, that could change coming up over the next several days. But for now, the North Shore abnormally dry. Not so much in a drought condition at all for the South Shore. That could change, though, if we still remain below normal as far as a rainfall goes. Goes. Satellite and radar right now looking mainly almost crystal clear across southeast Louisiana. Widening out the view, I'm showing you that we have a couple of different boundaries. Uh, this nearly stationary front position over us and then also down here in the Gulf of Mexico. And that's where much of the uh, shower and thunderstorm activity is, at least the moisture is concerned across the Florida Peninsula. Not so much here, though, further west into the northern Gulf or southeast Louisiana. Current temperatures at 92, lakefront to 93, Bell Chase. It's 95 right now in Kenner and also in Slidell. Same here for you up in Bugalusa, 92 right now in Hammond. However, it feels like mid to upper 90s when you factor in relative humidity. And in fact, very close to 100 is what it currently feels like right now in Slidell. Hammond, not too far from that either. Highs tomorrow, low to mid 90s, upper 80s though, closer down towards the coastline. A little bit warmer though, up towards the North Shore. Looking ahead, I'm widening out the picture here because I do want to show you that nearly stationary frontal boundary. Again, not really expected to move a whole lot. See the tail end of that front extending up towards south southeastern Louisiana with some showers and thunderstorms that could increase the rain chances maybe a little bit, especially closer towards the coast. But watch what happens here as we take you into the weekend. That front here hangs around the Gulf and it's going to be developing a little bit of an air weak area of low pressure that could begin to spin up here along that tail end of that frontal boundary. We'll watch that closely. There's really no tropical development, no alarm bells going off at all, but we will be looking at some of that here, at least the moisture and energy from that weak area of low that could develop that could give us some increasing rain chances as we head closer towards the weekend. And again, there is no tropical development expected over the next seven days, but I'm also watching another tropical wave here moving across the greater Antilles. Lots of uh, tropical moisture associated with this here currently. It's going to be moving it, moving its way into the Gulf of Mexico as we head towards the mid to latter part of next week. And again, no development expected out of this system either. However, if it holds together, it could give us a good chance or at least increase our chances of showers and thunderstorms, leading to, of course, some better rain chances ahead here coming up. So your WDSU first warning seven day forecast. High temperatures uh, mainly into those lower 90s. Again, just a slight chance of a shower or two tomorrow. Better chances of showers and storms this weekend and also into next week. As that tropical wave inches closer, we could be looking at some of those in uh, increasing rain chances between around 30 to 40 percent coming up, especially between Tuesday to Thursday. That could be our best bet there with those highs still remaining into the upper 80s to lower 90s. The moisture around could help decrease the temperatures maybe slightly low temperatures into the 70s.